long you been down with the family, man? How long you been down uh, with the clown, if you say? I got my first mixed album from a good friend of mine when I was 10 years old. You know what I mean? So I'm real young. I'm 20. I was down since I was 10. 10 years. 10 years. And um, years. How, 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 is this your first gathering? No, not at all. This will be number four. Number four for you? Yes, absolutely. And which, uh, has this been the best one, or you been have better? Uh, my favorite was last year. I won the rap battle last year, the flow, matter, the flow master rap battle. Oh, so, so you rap? Time. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, so, uh, you, you, do you got something you can spit freestyle real quick? Uh, yeah, I can, or, do, uh, that. Something. I can do that for you. Yeah. Go ahead, rip it. I'm a prison, a walking cage with crooks and creeps to live in, who never knew when to give in, while making all the wrong decisions, or I could be religion, teaching peace to the children, but sometimes open minds are forbidden, training adults to hate all the beauty that lies within them, when I'm the slip that's far beyond forgiven. I'm the guy who speaks but never listens, I'm the co-worker who sold you out just to advance on your position, I'm the space between two enemies, I am friction, I'm the man who made the love of your life, made me her addiction, I'm the guy, I am the addiction, yes I switch up words but sometimes I can cause friction it is me on the mic and I'm spitting but sometimes it's never written it's off the dome and I'm forbidden from ever spitting something so divine but maybe sometimes I just lose my mind and something and get lost behind mm. it's no hope thank That's you very good. Much. How, how did um, how did you end up um, uh, in the in the family like what what like what drew you the, the most about it well, what, what made me come into it was just, you know what I mean, uh, I grew up not with a lot of money, you know what I mean, it was kind of hard coming up, and this is a large group of people where you can go and you don't need, you know what I mean, the $300 jeans and the fresh shoes for people to look at you and be like, oh, you know, that's a good guy right there, that's a cool guy right there, you know what I mean, like people take so much off of looks, based so much off of what they have in common, you know what I mean, and a lot of us are so different. But we're all equal here. I, I really like that. I really like that feeling. That's cool, man. And and as far as your your um, you know, I, ICP, they say that you guys, you know, the Juggalo family, right. is a, is is a gang. And I, you know, me personally, I've seen you got you know the Juggalos, the families, um, you know, treat us with the most respect. Absolutely. They were all, you know, most, uh, mostly everybody was loving. What is your take on the, 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 the Juggalo uh, family being a gang? I mean, uh, some of us may dress a little certain way, but we're all really different. I mean, for us to be a gang, I mean, aren't, isn't a gang supposed to have a uniform? You know what I mean? Isn't a gang supposed to be making some sort of money to be given to a higher power? Yeah, we buy their CDs, but you don't ever see nobody getting green lights from Joe and Joey to go off somebody, you know what I mean? Or we're not making money because we're out there hustling for them, you know what I mean? They give us inspiration to do some things and people take ideas and they run with it, you know what I mean? And so you think how, it's certain people that kind of go crazy with the, uh, sometimes mean, take I mean, sometimes, take the uh, lyrics? people take it a little too seriously, but that's like in any group, you know what I mean? Like I'm sure there's somebody right now wearing a Young Money shirt, you know what I mean? Hustling mixtapes. I'm sure there's somebody, you know what I mean? Robbing a bank in a Justin Bieber shirt. I mean, there's, there's people in every group, you know what I mean? Who's a terrible, terrible person. But I've seen so many people here who people would look at on the street and think, you know what I mean? That that would be somebody who they couldn't trust. But I mean, looks looks can be very easy. Sure. Like, and what are everybody here? Yeah. Like, that's cool, man. Well, and let me ask you another question. What do you feel about the the uh, about God? How do you feel about Shangri La? How do you feel about the whole um, eternal life? And what is your aspect? What is your point of view on God? Well, religion, religion for me, it was really tough coming up. Uh, my parents always brought me to church when I was young. Christian. You know what I mean, and yeah, they were Christian. Okay. And uh, you know, they were they were all about it. You know what I mean? Like everything was by the book, for the book, for him. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. So you have acknowledgement of Jesus Christ? Absolutely. Uh, I, I know, you know, all about it. I, I, you know, went to, you know, the reading of the Bible. And, sure, uh, Bible and class. Saturday classes. You know, uh, yeah. It's just, I mean, me, uh, I, I believe that there's something afterwards, you know what I mean? There's obviously something greater than us. There's something that, you know, made something this beautiful that we can all come together. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, as far as the point of God comes, you know what I mean? If it is God who gave this all to us, you know what I mean? I can. You know what I mean? Thank him for everything that we possibly have. For, for some, it's, it's a little harder to find, but uh, if he's listening, you know what I mean? You know, thank you for everything. You yeah, I mean? sure. And um, if you were, if, if um, let's say, if you were to, to, 
to go, you know, pass and go on to eternity, to heaven. Um, would you think that the Lord God, well, God will be pleased with the life that you live today? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, just because I'm a juggalo doesn't mean I've never done anything to help anybody. Sure. You know I mean, it's, it's more than saying please and thank you. It's all about giving to people who need and being willing, uh, being absolutely happy with not receiving anything for it. You know what I mean? And I'm, I've always been that kind of person, so I think I'd be happy with it, yeah. All right, and last question. What, when you hear the name of Jesus Christ, what is the first thing that pops into your head? Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. So you believe, do you believe in your heart that um, Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world? Do you believe he died on the, uh, for, for us I believe and eternal? Jesus Christ did die for us. I believe he did. So you, you have personally accepted him as your Lord and Savior in your life? At the moment, it's, it's hard, but I, I, could definitely, I could definitely see somebody definitely taking care of me, somebody taking care of the world. And, and it to be. Do, you, do you believe that this might have been a divine appointment, that maybe, maybe people been, you know, that the, God has placed some people in your lives? To, Absolutely. Absolutely. I could definitely say yes. And can I tell you, man, um, besides it all, man, you know, there's eternal life through Christ, man. And you know your, your moms and your pops and your peoples probably brought you up this way. Right. And I just wanted to share that hope with you, man. Well, I appreciate and it. What if, and what if I told you today, man, that exactly today, if you believe in the name of Jesus, you'll have eternal life. How would you take that? James Shag's got the right idea for telling me that to begin with. So would you accept it as 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 a savior today, as an eternal savior? Would you actually confess him as your savior and believe completely in your heart, as your mom has told you in the past, to believe completely in your I heart? Could you could do it. Absolutely. Would you pray with me? Yes, sir. How long you been down with the family, man? The big the first question I yeah. want to know. Well, I've been down with ICP for about nearly uh, 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. And what drew you to the family? Yeah, well, the, their music to begin with is uh, curiosity. You know, like uh, you, know, you go into stores, their covers, you know, it's the black with a clown, just uh, something different. Horror movies, uh, yeah. my kind of thing. Yeah, so uh, later on, you know, I just started following. And also their friends, the Juggalos, you know, the fans. Yeah. Probably uh, like uh, all the groups I've hung with different cliques. Yeah. They're the best ones that I hung out with. Wow, that's cool, man. And um, what is it that led you to, to follow the Juggalo family, did you feel like rejected? Did you feel not wanted? Did you feel not loved? Well, well, yeah. Or was it all? Well, uh, there's a combination of things. Uh, there were times, you know, it didn't really fit in. Yeah, it had some uh, social issues. Uh, still sort of have it to this day. But it's improving since then. And as, uh, as far as the Juggalo group, uh, you know, just I'm saying, you know, they're in the same interest as I am. Yeah. Man, you seem like such a likable guy, man. I mean, I don't see why, how people cannot. Oh, well, then again, you know, I uh, uh, probably had some issues in my past, too, you know. Just, uh, some of it's like temper-wise or just, you know, just trying to adapt. Really? But like I said, since then, it's been growing. Wow, been that's growing. great. And how do you, um, could I ask you this question? Yeah. How do you feel about God? What do you believe? Do you believe in God? I sure do. And do you believe, in, what do you, what's the first thing that comes to your head when you hear the name of Jesus Christ? And Jesus Christ, uh, unselfish and uh, caring, uh, open to other people. So have you, uh, do you, do you personally believe as Jesus, as the, um, the, the forgiveness of sin through his sacrifice? Yeah, I'd like to believe so. That's uh, something I'm truly pulling for, uh, like what he stands for, or things, you know, that it's uh, stuff that, you know, just about everyone would want. It doesn't matter what faith you are. And can I share with, I'm sorry, your name, what was your name again, brother? Oh, Mike. Mike. Well, Mike, can I share with you real quick that my life has been um, changed completely. Yeah. And um, I appreciate you. You got a special personality to yeah. you, man. It's something I, I really like about you. But I want to tell you, man, I was drug addicted and I was a criminal for a long time in my life. And um, I heard the message of the gospel and it's changed my life completely. Jesus Christ has changed my life. And if I told you today, yeah. right, today, that Jesus was alive and he, in him there's eternal life. If you truly accept him as your savior, personal savior and believe completely in his heart, your heart, how would you take that if I ask you that today? Actually, uh, I believe what you're saying. Uh, I've actually kind of been there myself. Uh, the way I went to it is uh, a little uh, unorthodox outside of, you know, a typical, you know, uh, Christian based ways go. It was actually, you know, a uh, spiritual healing that I had done, and uh, they were like uh, deeply religious. And uh, they gave me some candles. One was uh, a prayer for St. Michael, and the other one was uh, a prayer to the Blessed Virgin. Wow. And so what about if I asked you today to lay aside everything else, you know, all the other stuff in the world, all the things that you've done in your past, all the things that you might have 
um, that that God of that you might feel condemned about. Yeah. What if I told you today, right now, that if you declare and confess Jesus Christ as your Savior in your heart, but uh, I mean believe it and, and repent, how, if I told you that today, if you confess it in your mouth and all that will be washed away and you will eat eternal life, would you receive it today? I definitely have it in my heart. I can guarantee you that. Would you? Know, you know, if uh, people are interested in the story, you know, I, I'm, I'd be uh, glad to you know, share my story. Would you like to, today, would you like to pray and confess it today with me? Uh, yeah, I mean, to us, uh, friend me and you. Oh, I'm not good for going along with it. You know, would you like to go with me? And I'll, I'll lead you with it. Oh yeah, sure. Let's do it.